Brazilians are in the streets for carnival, millions across the country. And for many of them, it's an act of resistance. Supporters of former President Luiz Ignacio Lula da Silva have formed free Lula Samba groups around the country, like this one in Florianópolis. They've been practicing for several weeks. They took to city streets over the weekend. We are here today with everyone who wants to combat fascism in Brazil. This is a political act to combat Lula's unjust imprisonment and transforming Carnival into a big grassroots action against this. Former President Lula has been in prison since last April. He was convicted of accepting a beachside apartment from a company seeking government contracts. But the ruling was based on plea bargain testimony. No evidence was ever found. His jailer, Judge Sergio Moro, is now President Jair Bolsonaro's justice minister. Lula supporters say his imprisonment was just a move to block him from running in last year's elections. Today, the greatest grassroots leader that we've ever had is unjustly imprisoned, accused of crimes that he didn't commit and for which there is no proof. And we need to agitate so we can get him out of prison so he can be free. They hit the streets and marched to the carnival celebrations in downtown Florianópolis. It was also a protest against the government of far-right President Jair Bolsonaro, who was inaugurated on January 1st. Chants against Bolsonaro have erupted at carnival celebrations in other cities as well. Belo Horizonte, Salvador, Sao Paulo. This government is really bad, but we are going to resist. The poorest and the people in need are going to resist. No one is going to take away our rights and our freedom. We will resist. Samba groups in Sao Paulo paraded with floats depicting vultures, rats, and a vampire in a harsh critique of continued corruption in Brazil. The Rio de Janeiro Samba School Mangueira is honoring the black LGBT councilwoman Maria Le Franco, who was killed last year by assassins linked to paramilitaries and even the Bolsonaro family. Only two months in, and Bolsonaro's government has also been wrapped in corruption scandals involving top cabinet members and Bolsonaro's own son, Flavio. His government has eliminated the Ministry of Labor, handed the right to demarcate indigenous land over to the Ministry of Agriculture, and cut LGBT rights from human rights guidelines. Bolsonaro's violent, sexist, racist, and homophobic rhetoric has also inspired right-wing groups and individuals to act on their hate. Under the Bolsonaro government, there is a feeling of greater impunity and permission to hate. So we in the LGBT community are more afraid to walk the streets, because even the police themselves aren't authorized to protect us. We have to affirm that we are going to continue in the streets. This is our greatest resistance not to go back into the closet. We have to continue to resist, because if we let fear take over, they're going to annihilate us. Carnival and samba in Brazil have a long history of social protest and resistance. In fact, resistance is at its very roots. Resistance to slavery, resistance to violent racism and discrimination. Carnival is a political act from its very origins. Carnival was created by blacks, created by my black people. In its essence, it is an act of resistance. And from there, you have the deconstruction of gender during Carnival. Everything that is freeing, you will see during Carnival. So it makes sense for Free Lula Samba Group to be performing for Carnival, because it's a time when people should be free. 